and we're drinking. We're in a bar, mm -hmm. okay? And Craig gives me a funny look across the room. And, I, and I, I'm like, who is this guy? And if I walk really close to him like this, I'm gonna make him feel a little bit nervous, right? Yeah. If I get really close to you, you're like, wait a minute. So you might back up, okay? It's the same thing. We can do that with dogs in a way that, that just communicates, hey buddy, I just want you to go over here, okay? So that's what I mean by spatial pressure. So let's see if I can do that this time, please. So what I did that time, I wanted to make sure he didn't come off. I just came around in front of him and just had a position that shows, you know, I'm in charge. I want you to stay there. Now, when we have him on place, I want you to practice the stay command. So you're literally going to go and just stand here and relax. Hold on to the leash just a few seconds and then come back and pray. Good boy. Okay. Now, that's where I used pressure. I had a feeling he was going to leave. So I'll move around a little bit. And he's anxious. So this is special pressure. I did that. Now, let me show you something. This is what you don't want to do. He comes off, you don't want to do this. Because to him, this is how we pet our dog, right? So he thinks I'm petting him. So he thinks I'm actually rewarding him for coming off. Yeah. So don't do this. Don't be like, oh, don't do that. Okay? So instead, okay, buddy, I'm gonna give you a break in a second, okay? Instead, just do this, a little bit of pressure, mm -hmm. get your body in front. Ah. Ah. So, he's a little bit tired. Okay, and good boy. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so let me tell you what all the different parts are. So obviously, this is the part that you're going to hold in your right hand. Yes. Your left hand is going to be here, so when your dog is over here. Uh -huh. But we're going to teach you to teach to walk your dog on the left side first. Uh -huh. Later you can teach the other side. So, when you put this on your dog, the best way to... Yeah. So now, I want you to look where this black piece is. Mm -hmm. I want that to be between you and your dog. Uh -huh. Not out there. Okay. Okay, so okay. if it's out there, okay. that's Inside. not the best way. It'll okay. still work, but the mm -hmm. best way is it's if it's inside. here. Okay? Yeah. Now this little piece right here we call it a stop uh -huh. because what you can do you can move it back and forth okay. by pressing down uh -huh. when you don't press down it doesn't move uh -huh. so what we're going to do i'm the dog now watch so it goes on me like this uh -huh. and then we pull this press the oh. button uh -huh. put it about an inch from here uh -huh. now really important i don't want this to be down here on the dog i want it to be like right up behind the dog's head like right on the ears like that okay uh -huh. okay because that way the dog will feel the pressure with just a very, very little bit uh -huh. and he'll get the information that we're trying to give him. Okay? So that's how we're going to put it on here. Now this one little piece here is really good because what we'll do is we'll take this part uh -huh. and we'll clip it onto the collar that that's he has. Right and the reason is if this comes off, this is a safety. So we still have the dog so he's not going to run away. Okay? And then I take this part all the way down right above the neck. Mm -hmm. Now this part, I want to come all the way underneath like that. Uh -huh. And then I'm just going to attach on. it. Yep, clip it on. You're right. Exactly okay. right. Okay? Uh -huh. So that's how we'll use it. And we, I want it to ride like right there. But we want to have a little bit of movement in it. Oh, okay. Not a lot. Uh -huh. Now, when I'm walking him, I want my leash. Remember I told you to be relaxed? Uh -huh. The best way to do that is to just relax your arms. Uh -huh. So when I walk a little bit, if he gets a little bit ahead of me, I'm just going to remind him where the best place to walk is. The best place to walk, the place where the, he's not going to feel any pressure, is pretty close to like right here. Mm -hmm. But if he goes out there, I'm going to apply pressure to remind him. Very good. So, may I? So, one of the first things I like to ask people to do People say, well, what's the first thing I should do when I walk my dog? I say, nothing. Don't do anything. What I want you to do is just kind of stand around and let the dog kind of walk around. He knows I have treats. So right now, he already knows if I stay close to you, I'm going to get treats. Okay? Now, as long as he's close to me, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give him a few treats. Now, we can hug him that way. And this hand is free just in case I need to give him a reminder. I'm not going to push him on the butt, but I might do this. 
just a little fat. Okay? But always remember, never keep your leash like this on him. It's not comfortable. Always try to find out how to do that. So try it again. You did really great that time. So walk around. So walk a little faster. Relax your left arm a little bit, a little tight, just a little bit. There you go. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Go in the other side direction. Turn around. That way. Good. Okay. Stop for a second. Let's ask him to sit. Sit. Now you can help him with the pressure. Sit. There you go. And praise. Good. Yeah, I'll give you some treats. You want to do the down command too? just going to use this as a lure. He's basically just going to take his eyes and just going to go, oh, okay. So we're going to go freaky down. And just leave it down there on the ground. For so loosen up the leash. So they connect the, the hand signal with the word. We need to do both, okay? All right. I'm doing down one more time. Just right there. Down. Perfect. Down. Yeah. Okay. And try not to repeat okay. the plan. If you say down, so this is something I want you to work on in the house mm -hmm. where there's not a lot of noise and distraction. Yeah. Okay? So eventually what we want to be able to do is to move around him like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah. excellent. Okay? Mm -hmm. Ricky. Yeah. All right, now, and then use the stop. Push it way, way down. Keep going and bring it way up here on the dogs, like right here by the ears. Yeah. And then close that a little bit more. Yeah. And then hook this up to that one. Under the... Quiet, buddy. And you see this rope right here? Mm -hmm. You're gonna pull it forward. Let me have the leash. Okay, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. And put it over his nose. Oh. Over his nose like that. Mm -hmm. And then you do the same thing over here that you did before. You come right to that spot, like that. Okay. okay. So now, Ricky, come here. So now, I just have a little bit more control for my corrections. Ricky, sit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I would like for you to try to stay mostly on the slip lead. 